What is up guys, Bob Rock Bob here, welcome back to another video, and I know I haven't been uploading, so I'm just going to right now create a guide on how to use Spigot and Bucket with Maven on IntelliJ, and because I realize that a lot of people don't really realize how to use IntelliJ just because it seems complicated in terms of the UI, when in reality it's just a superior ID to Eclipse or NetBeans, it seriously is, so this will hopefully clear up some confusion and allow you to use the better ID. So this is Maven, the IntelliJ new project setup, um, you know, so that it comes with a lot of stuff. By the way, this is IntelliJ Ultimate, it should be the same for community. And so here, by default you won't have a project SDK, but what you just have to hit is new, and then basically just find your JRE folder, and then just export it with your JRE. It's really simple. Um, and now, here on Maven you shut out all these handy little things you can have on your Maven. Are, can have, have all these handy little libraries you get with Maven. And now hit next, and let's just, and then just do a group ID like normal, so dot, 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 dot tutorial, and oops. And then artifact ID tutorial example. Tutorial. Um, so project name. Now you go to a project location, it should be somewhere like this is my coding folder. Um, it, this will also where it will be, it will export. Um, yeah, so hit open in this window, um, and now I'm just going to open this. Now here's your prompt.xml, normalness, right here. Um, now for the most part, note that, what the crap did I open? Oh my goodness, uh, the folder, right, tutorials, holy crap, I forgot that tutorial was a folder I used to use for my old tutorial series. I'm going to just forget that happened. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. That's something. Something. Yeah. Okay. This window. There. Thank you. Um, I need to remember to clear up my projects folder. Okay. Now, firstly, first thing you have to do, in the bottom right, it'll say name Maven projects need to be important. Yes, hit enable auto import because that is a 100% requirement. It will make it really, really easy. Just always hit that when you first thing. Now, palm.xml, I'm not going to type it all out. I have a copy and paste that I'll just give a link to a paste bin. Um, and now here is Lemaven. And this should be a fairly normal, normal palm.xml file. So, in case you aren't aware, sources, the Java version you coded the plugin, the thing in, target is the thing it's meant for. Um, if you're just using Java, it should always be 1.8. And then for any repositories, um, I have just speak it right here. It just is uh, your all two repositories. Then here are dependencies which are what matters and will actually make your thing work. So for Spigot API, I have the group ID is org.spigotmc, artifact is spigot-api, and then the version I'm gonna just, I have the 1.8.8 .8 example right here. Um, handy note, um, for any Spigot version, it will be always just version dash r0.1 dash snapshot. It will always be it. Um, and then same thing for Bucket API, the, and scope provided, always. So this will auto-import it, and that means when you build it, it will for sure work. Now you go to source, main, java, create a package like you would. I'm just going to create a really basic example plugin for this. Um, I don't know, I don't know, something. I'm gonna just create a really basic plug in like five seconds to show you how it works. And then main, I don't know. So main extends and then Java plugin. And you see it will load this properly. And then and then public void on enable. And then sys uh oh, can I show you a funny get clip? server dot get logger dot info. Yeah. Hi item. So now we Sorry. have it and then just public and uh, let's just code a basic command. Um, string, enable, string, array, args. Alright, so now we have a basic line command. If cmd.getName equals in our case, hi, sender.send message, hi, and return true. There. That is a really basic on command method. So, bit easier at their basic on command method, and now I'm just going to export this. So what you do for this is 
just basically, oh yeah, we have to make plug-in more ammo, um, for our plug-in, ammo, name, something, main, uh, uh, not, uh, uh, something, dot main, uh, description, ammo, author, no, no, etc, just no, plug-in, no, ammo, oh yeah, commands, I description xd and yeah okay there um usage uh, command okay so plug in my ml dot right there I didn't forget anything did I no I didn't all right save that and now here's how you would do this so you go to the terminal in the bottom right and now note for this you have to have Maven installed IntelliJ while it has Maven support, you have to actually have the Maven salt, and I'll show you what I mean. So, if I go down to my um, PC, Sim C, Dragon Class A6, there is the Maven folder with Apache Maven 3.3.9. This you have to have installed with your environment variables. If you do not know what they are, I will show you what they look like, but I won't tell you how to set them up, although you should be able to base it off. Oh, they should be familiar with it off how I show you, okay? So, I'm gonna go to System. Advanced system settings, and then environment variables. So now, if you look at this, there are a couple things you need: M2, M2 home, Maven ops, and in your path, in your path, if I can actually find it, you need. Uh, let's see, I think I'm, yeah, percent M2. That's it. Just percent M2. So variable M2. And now, in this, to type if your Maven's working, type Maven dash dash version. It should take a second, but then it will say what your Maven is actually that your Maven's working. So now to export this project, you type MVN clean space install, and now this will build your project. It'll take about ten seconds. Um, uh, it's being weird for some reason, and it's installing. Note that you can also run this from command line inside the proper project folder. It just has the button, and then. It will create a target folder, which is just it generated, and this should be done. All right, now. And while we now I go to my documents folder. E users documents coding, and now I go to the something folder. And you'll see in my target I'll have the jar, and that will be exported. So yeah, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also use IntelliJ. Seriously, he wants better than Eclipse. Like seriously. Using IntelliJ. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. Bye.